Hey, welcome back. Well, it's been four days of mourning for the loss of uh, Asante Yema Nana Ifia Kobi Tewa Ampim II. The memorial is still underway in Kumasi and we'll be going there live for updates. But uh, earlier this uh, afternoon, President Kufuado, together with his Vice uh, President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, were there to pay their respects along with their spouses. Former President Jerry John Rawlings, who was also accompanied by his daughter and Member of Parliament for Kote Kole, Dr. Zaneto Rawlings, were also there. And we understand that the, uh, the Speaker of Parliament was also there. As a young girl, she served ungrudgingly her senior relatives. These included her predecessor, Nana Masewa Nyaku. In her early years, a, prophet, a prophetic statement was made that she and her son would in the future hold responsible positions in society. Although Nanefia Kubisa Wampim II was a woman of culture to the core, she was also a committed Christian. At the age of 22, she was baptized and confirmed in the Anglican faith at St. Cyprian's Anglican Church in Kumasi. This was in 1927, three years after the return of King Frempe the First from the Sicilians islands in 1924. The name given to her at her christening was Mariafo, but this was a corrupted form of Afudwo, her father's name. She enrolled in the Good Shepherd Society of the church and held on to her faith. Until her death, she was a communicant. The Anglican clergy of St. Cyprian's Cathedral frequently said mass for her and her son at the Mencia Palace. Her second husband, being a Catholic, asked for her last two children to be baptized in the Catholic Church. Indeed, it was the present Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Kumasi, the most reverend Peter Kwesisapo, who baptized Bermako Kudia, the present of Santihini. Kumasi Mine, Asante Mine, and Ghana hail you, Nana Efia Kubisa Wampim II, as the embodiment of what is best in Ghanaian womanhood. You had a tremendous sense of discipline. You would not succumb to political pressure to influence your choice of the king of Asante. You were blessed with the old age of 111 years, during which you never completely lost any of your faculties or senses. You had a colossal memory and sharp mind which right up to your passing away did not diminish. You were able to remember people, places, events, and occurrences, and you remember them with amazing ease and in incredible minute detail. God, your creator, even while you were still alive, had shown satisfaction in your performance Asohima. One's blood relationships on earth. Your passing away leaves me homeless. I thank the good Lord for giving you to me for 66 years as my mother. You have indeed been my all. You did not only give me life, 
You gave me life that is worth living. You brought me up in the cultural traditions of our forefathers. You gave me the best of humanity to make me what I am today. You were a beacon of wisdom to me. You loved me and my siblings. And you did everything for us except condone evil in our lives. You were a disciplinarian to the core. You were the mother with whom I conferred. The members of our great clan and others always looked up to you. You were Eja, on whom we wholly depended. You were a killer of hunger for us, our savior. The slender arm full of kindness the ruler whose strengths were on all hearts. You taught us the value of hard work. As a young boy, you did not want me to be pampered. How can I thank you enough for preparing me for a position of glory as the king of Asante, which you so generously and affectionately bestowed on me? So those were, uh, those were excerpts from the funeral this afternoon. Uh, earlier on, we saw uh, the reading of the biography of the later Santehima. And then what you just heard was a tribute uh, by the Santehino 2482 for his mother. Well, what we also know from this morning is that there was an, uh, a police joint, uh, a joint police and military operation uh, to deal with some traders who were out today in the Kumasi Central Market for business as usual despite the ban on all activities prior to the burial of the late Aston Tehima. Maxwell Agbagba joins me on the line with some more information on this. Hello, Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. If you can hear me, what happened this morning and what did you see? Hello, Maxwell. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Maxwell, I hear you. Tell us about what happened with the joint police and military forces and how they dealt with people who had gone out on the streets to do business as usual. This morning, joint police and police operation, as you rightly mentioned. Okay, it's very difficult to hear um, Maxwell Agbaba on the line right now, but Ohim Interior is also at the funeral grounds right now. Uh, speaking to some people, we can get a live... So those are live pictures uh, from, the, from the funeral grounds. We can, we can go over there and hear the interviews that have been conducted by my colleague, Ohim Interior. Mansha Palace, this has been Ohim Interior reporting. Sincere apologies for that mess up there. While we can move on to some other stories, as and when we do get another feed, uh, we would go over to Kumasi to bring you that information. But in a rapidly changing world where indigenous tradition seems to be struggling against modern trends, the Ashanti Kingdom is holding fast to its cultural practices. Many of them, such as the curfew of movements beyond a certain time frame, are coming to the fore during the final funeral rites of the later Santa Himana Naifia Kobi. Sewa Ampim the second, our Shanti regional correspondent of Himini Terria, sought to find out how the Ashanti culture has thrived for several centuries and has come through with this report. What you are seeing here is a display of the rich culture of the Ashanti kingdom. People are asking questions, how come the Ashantis for several years have been able to maintain their rich culture? And in this case, I want to find out from the great Ashanti chiefs who have contributed immensely to the preservation of the Ashanti culture. In this interview, I will be speaking to Opeja Country Monstra and Fuye II, the Adansi Hine, and our other room, where they are, 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 where they are,
Nana, uh, give me some education. How can you be able to maintain your race culture? Yeah, culture is a way of life. So it doesn't have to change. We can make some modifications, but we can't, we can't change it. Since the way of life, we, we learn from our relatives or our parents or our leaders. So as others go, others come in. So what we try to do is to help the youth to understand. That is why we try to invite people to come closer to us so that we can teach them. Because we learn from the elderly or the people we come to meet, and they pass it on, and we have to also pass it on. All right, so I, I, I hope the, the youth are also here in their numbers uh, to witness what is happening today. Uh, what would be your advice to somebody who thinks that for culture is not as important as anything? No, anybody who says that, uh, I know people from maybe some tribes, they don't uh, look at culture. If you look at the great nations, like China, uh, Iran, Iran, and all the other civilized nations, they have culture. And any nation without culture is not going to uh, do much in terms of bringing the people together. So culture brings us together, and therefore, uh, like you see, you can see China, the Middle East, uh, if you compare that to America, right now America is trying to find something. Uh, they have little, little things, but they wish they have something that can bring all of them together like this. So uh, as far as our culture is concerned, in the way of life, we want to maintain it and keep it for good. And that is why even the British, uh, during the British time, Ashanti was the only uh, 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 state or kingdom that was able to fight the British when they tried to uh, destroy our culture. So we are not going to allow anybody to destroy the rich culture. Uh, would there be a time that Ashantis will compromise their rich culture? I don't think so. Uh, there may be some little modifications, but uh, uh, we can't compromise because we try to pass it on. And as we pass it on, they, the generation after generation, they will also pass it on to keep the culture intact. Before you are given the opportunity, the chief has to make on you to come before you can say anything or to say a word to the uh, dancing in it. So it's been a pleasure listening and also learning from the dancing in it of your country once a few years this again. Hello, Ohime. We can go over to Kumasi and speak to Ohime Interior once again. Uh, that was a report that he put together. Hello, Ohime, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Gifty. Okay, uh, what's happening uh, uh, right now? What's, an, what's, the, what's the update on the funeral? Uh, yes, uh, for now, uh, we are done uh, with the uh, uh, burial service. Uh, it just uh, concluded uh, by the, it was led by the uh, uh, Supreme uh, Anglican Church. And now we are left uh, with the rich and laying ceremony. The uh, Asante Hini's uh, wife, Lady Julia Otetitu, uh, just laid uh, her wreath. And then the Asante Mamponini, the Asante Otetitu, so on behalf of, of Asante Mai, uh, is also laying the wreath. I must say, the, the tribute, they were, you know, the, the list for people uh, built to present the uh, three their teams were so long that the organizers uh, had uh, to, to cast the number of people uh, who were scheduled to present the teams. And that is, for me, that is a plus for the organizers uh, to ensure the smooth uh, running of the uh, program. So, now, for me, let me find out from you when um, the later Sante Hima is going to be laid to rest today. We understood that there was going to be a procession at 2 p.m. Can you come up here? We understand that there was going to be a procession at 2 p.m. and then she will be laid to rest uh, later in the day. When is that happening or has it happened already? No, not at all. We just uh, finished with the burial service and uh, we are currently uh, now laying the race. So, so from here, uh, the body will be taken through the principal streets of Kumasi uh, to the Bantama Mausoleum where it will be laid uh, for some time and then the uh, traditional authorities will also join uh, the another street procession that will be in the night uh, at 7 p.m. And that is where residents of Kumasi have been asked and not uh, go out or to cancel or activities. Okay. So for now, we are still at the Manchia Palace. Okay, two quick things, um, Ohime. Uh, 
former President Rawlings was there, President Kufad was there with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. At this point, where are they? Are they still at the funeral grounds or have they left? Not at all. All the dignities and invited guests who came to mourn with the Asantehini are still here because it's not a disperse. Uh, like I said, we just finished uh, with the burial service. Okay. And don't forget, the burial service is one of the key and important aspects of the burial rite. Okay. So everybody is seated on this seat. Uh, waiting for uh, the other uh, aspects of the program to continue. And that is when mm. uh, the street uh, procession uh, will start. Unfortunately, uh, things have not gone the way as planned because we were told earlier the street procession uh, will start at 2 p.m., as you said, as now uh, it's past four. Uh, so okay. uh, I, I hope uh, it will take some time before we start the street procession. And so the whole but of Kumasi, we understood this morning, has been the business... Uh, 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 the, 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 the central business district has been uh, quiet today. People have been in their homes. But we also know that some people went out anyway, irrespective of the ban on, on, on uh, activities, that people went out. How were they, were they dealt with in any way by security personnel? We understood there was a joint co uh, security uh, police and military force. Yes, uh, that force was put together by the Asantimai Council to ensure uh, strict compliance of the ban on the uh, 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 trading uh, activities here uh, in the Ashanti region and other uh, parts of the Ashanti mine. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it has been, you know, uh, widely uh, respected ban, uh, apart from those uh, few cases uh, where people decided to go out and trade. For instance, in the Ajiso uh, uh, Township, for instance, today is a market day. Uh, by the time I, I went to Ajiso, the traders uh, were busy uh, trading in their wares at Bantama and in Siasi specifically. Uh, that is where uh, the military police team uh, blocked some parts of the road to ensure that those who were trading in their wares uh, put a stop to it. Okay. And I must say, I mean, you know, vehicles have been empty all this while. All this while. Thank you very much. Ohime Teria is a colleague there in Kumasi. Nanan Sakwao is a chief of uh, Edumasa, is chief of Edumasa in the eastern region, and he's got a depth of knowledge about chieftaincy and the tradition that comes uh, with it. Nana, thank you very much for your time, and I know that you've been in Kumasi yourself for the funeral, but um, this is not the real funeral, we understand. It is, no, it is not. And, and how, does that, how does that work? And secondly, We've got a whole day of inactivity today. People were told to stay at home. Some say it's not worth it. Do you agree? <laughs> of course, no, I don't agree. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you, you must understand, and let me congratulate uh, Otum for, uh, for raising the profile of decency, bringing the relevance of it. And uh, so this has been exceptional. I don't think there's been any funeral that has been this big. I think the last one I can remember was probably Nelson Mandela. So everything about this funeral is exceptional. But yes, uh, when somebody really significant falls, uh, something significant should happen uh, in terms of paying respect or remembering the person. And with us, you know, there's a day where uh, trading is ceased. And so, you know, after the arrangement, you know, the attendment is today, and therefore, they ask that, you know, nobody drinks. And I must uh, congratulate us on the I mean, I'm driving through the town, and, and all shops are closed. Uh, no business. Not a single business uh, was open today. You can see a few stalls, like roast plantains or little stuff like that that are open. But generally, main businesses, banks, everything are closed for business. As a mark of respect for somebody truly significant. Yes, and, uh, uh, it's a mark of respect now, now we understand, but people have said that these are outmoded, you know, ways of doing things, like preventing people from being productive in a day. <coughs> outmoded. Uh, Gifty, we are Ghanaian, and uh, no matter how we try to be uh, European, we are Ghanaian. Uh, they, uh, sure, if this thing may have happened, and uh, it was, you know, quote unquote, the Queen. Maybe the, a law wouldn't have been issued, but still many businesses would have been closed. Plenty of people will come in line by the, reed, uh, by the road to watch a fire pass. And, you know, there, there's no way that if you attain that stage in life, you can have an ordinary funeral. It doesn't happen. Come on, okay. If you're a military general, if you're a police ITP, if you're a press moderator, if you okay. have attained 
stages in life, your funeral can no more be uh, ordinary. And your see. funeral will be also significant to depict who is God. Okay. Well, we'll say a very big thank you, Nana. Uh, but we understand that the next, uh, the next of kin, whoever will be installed as Queen Mother after her, will be the person to organize the proper funeral. Well, uh, yes and no. You see, how it works is uh, the king, the king can at any given time uh, decide to do the funeral for the, okay. uh, the the final funeral. The king can do that. Uh, but alternatively, you can just pass it on to the next queen to come and do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Nanan Sakwao is chief of Edumata in the Eastern region. He's also a broadcaster, works with us here and helping us to understand some of the tradition there. You're still watching The Pulse.